Hello, I'm Ethan Coker, and I want to talk to you about my Proposal Specialist Internship at American College Test, ACT, Inc. So, I found my internship through LinkedIn Jobs, the old-fashioned way. However, I specified my area of focus on proposal writing and proposal specialist internships, but I did apply to other non-proposal related internships that had to do with TechCom. But I wanted to focus on proposal writing or proposal specialist internships because I took a really great class at UNT called Proposal, proposal Writing with Professor Kroll. And I earned great experience in that class um, through creating a business to business proposal for a community coffee, which was hypothetical, um, but actually working and finding a, a real nonprofit organization, She Rock, She Rock. And I contacted them and I worked with them. I found them funders. I wrote them their grant in accordance to the RFP. And um, that was excellent experience and probably the best experience that I've gotten so far at UNT, um, definitely real world experience. And I used my portfolio or I'm sorry, I used my proposals as portfolio pieces uh, from that class. So that really uh, piqued my interest in proposals and got me wanting to look for proposal specific internships. So I leveraged my experience in that proposal writing class at UNT to get my proposal internship at ACT. Um, and I applied to dozens and dozens and dozens of internship positions uh, until I found this one. And I didn't give up, even though it was really hard and I had dozens and dozens of rejections. Um, following up and bringing a positive attitude to internships really helped and leveraging my uh, specific experience uh, definitely helped me get this position. So a little bit of background, American College Test ACT is known for their college readiness assessments. Uh, as you know, they're the biggest competitor to the SAT. Um, but there are also other uh, competitors uh, in the college readiness assessment world. Um, ACT and SAT are just the biggest ones. However, ACT also um, has other products such as a career readiness assessment and curriculum, a social mo emotional learning assessment and curriculum and other products. Um, so they don't just focus on college readiness, but that is what they're mostly known for. Um, and ACT has a proposal management department that is responsible for coordinating business deals between um, them and state educational agencies, uh, city school districts, and county school districts mostly. So I really lucked out with the proposal management team at ACT. They're all really fantastic. Anne is the manager, or I'm sorry, the director of proposals and my primary manager. And she makes sure that I'm included in all aspects of the proposal process that an entry level proposal specialist would be included in. Um, she also makes sure that I'm getting great mentorships from the other proposal specialists. Um, she checks in on how I'm doing with the projects that I'm in charge of and just makes sure overall that I'm getting a great, well-rounded experience with them. Um, Barbara is has been my primary point of contact for help when it comes to um, my projects that I'm responsible for, and I'm responsible for the boilerplate projects, which I'll, which I'll get into a little bit in, uh, in a moment. Uh, but she's been helping me and guiding me in the uh, library, boilerplate library projects that I'm in charge of. Uh, and she's been incredibly helpful in that regard. Uh, and Casey, Amber, and Amy, I have mostly assisted with um, for proposals and RFPs and working with SMEs. Um, and I've assisted them with a few proposals, uh, but mostly I've been working with Anne and Barbara throughout my internship. So my role as a proposal specialist intern at ACT has been varied. Uh, so my primary responsibility has been the creation of a library of contents. We call it a boilerplate content library for their work keys product line. Um, and for this, I just go through the existing content that they have for this product, um, their online materials, their proposals, any brochures or research, 
and I identified topics within the categories and I drafted the um, content for that topic, collected all the content in the different locations, put it in an organized file and I updated it, I copy edited it and I checked it with the SMEs to make sure it is accurate and up to date. And the purpose of this is to um, use this content to more easily and accurately uh, respond to uh, RFPs, re request for proposals in the future, um, so that we can have a more streamlined process to draft the initial drafts of these proposals. And I'm also responsible for maintaining the integrity of this boilerplate library and doing any necessary updates uh, as time goes on. And I also, my second responsibility is to assist proposal specialists with uh, RFPs and proposals that they have. And uh, I'll get into this in a little bit, but um, basically I just ask a proposal specialist if they need any help uh, when they get assigned to a proposal. And they'll typically have me do copy editing or uh, drafting content for certain requirements. Um, or working with SMEs uh, that they want me to contact. So I mostly work in SharePoint and Word and a little bit in Excel, but they house all of their documents and their contents on SharePoint. And we do the actual work in the Word documents, but it's pretty simple. We just edit in the Word documents and then post the content to where it needs to go to in SharePoint. So it's pretty simple. So this is an example of the uh, high level categories of the work keys boilerplate library. And this is the um, product library that I'm almost done with. I've also moved on to the social emotional learning boilerplate library, but I was working on this uh, work keys boilerplate library since last summer and it's a December now. Uh, so I've been working on this for quite a while, um, and it's just about done. We just have a few more reviews to do for a few remaining topics. But as you can see here, there are different categories that belong to work keys. And within each one of the, these categories are several identified topics um, with the uh, Word document containing the actual content. And that's where I update the content and have SMEs check it and um, post it for the proposal specialists to use. So this is an example of two of the RFPs that I've assisted with. Um, I believe I was assisting Casey with Ohio and Amber with Nevada. Um, so our goals when we went into these, generally speaking, were to make sure we have comprehensive responses, to work with the SMEs, to verify our responses to each step, to format the proposals specifically according to how the RFP wanted it formatted, to um, outline them exactly how the RFP wanted them outlined, and to make sure that the responses are clear and easy to read. Um, these proposals were interesting because uh, working with any government or state uh, proposal RFP, um, they can get a little bit complicated. So we did have to ask uh, both of these departments um, questions about their RFPs so that we would understand how to properly respond to them. But uh, some of the RFPs for these state institutions or even the uh, city or county institutions can get kind of complicated, but we asked them questions uh, about their RFPs and then we um, discussed our findings and then drafted our responses to the proposal and checked it with the SMEs before we submitted it. So I originally was only supposed to be a intern for the summer. However, I kept asking if I could take on more responsibility and if they needed any additional help with proposals that they were constantly getting in. Um, and I felt like that contributed to them wanting to keep me around to continue helping out with their very busy schedules. Um, and I felt like it was also helpful that 
uh, I brought a positive team player attitude to work every day, and uh, I always had a smile even when I wasn't feeling great and didn't feel like doing the work. Um, I always brought a positive attitude, and I always uh, asked if they needed any additional help or assistance, but I also understood when uh, I had enough work on my plate as well. Um, and I really enjoyed my time as a proposal specialist intern, and I still enjoy my time as a proposal specialist intern, because I feel like what I'm doing matters because it has real world impacts. What we do actually influences um, mil what millions of people uh, go through in middle school, elementary school, and high school, uh, what assessments they take, and that can influence uh, where they go to college and other decisions that they make throughout their lives. So I like to know that what I'm doing does have an impact on people's lives. Um, and I would advise um, to those of you who are still looking for internships to not be shy and to speak up whenever you have a question, even if it seems like a dumb question, it's much better to ask it and get an answer than to do something wrong. So I learned that it's okay to make mistakes as long as you're open about it and you ask questions and you listen and you correct those mistakes and you show them that you can correct that going forward. So don't be embarrassed or afraid to make mistakes and don't stress about it, um, especially when it's something that's out of your control, like uh, if you're working with an SME and you can't get them to respond to you in time. Don't stress about that. Just make an effort to do a good job and it'll show. And also know, uh, as I said before, know when you have enough on your plate and when to say no to additional work because that can impact the quality of your work overall. Um, and challenges that I noticed, um, it, it was very difficult sometimes to work with SMEs to get their attention. They have so many people scheduling meetings with them, sending them emails. And when you're just an intern uh, trying to get a, a question uh, asked, uh, trying to get an answer out of them, sometimes you're not um, the priority because they have so much else going on. And, you have to stand up for yourself, though, and kind of be a little annoying sometimes to get what you need out of the SMEs. Um, so working with them was probably the biggest challenge uh, in my internship. And also, I noticed uh, one of my challenges was knowing when to give myself a break. Um, so uh, take your lunch. Uh, you know, when you have an hour to go to lunch, don't just work through that. Um, actually take your lunch and give yourself a break and you'll probably have more bandwidth to focus when you come back to work. Um, and something I would change is to just be less timid uh, when bothering SMEs to get the information that you need from them. So thank you so much for watching my presentation and that's all. Goodbye.